Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond Galactic Science. Right, as you can see, I have a, a TARDIS uh, screwdriver in my hand, a sonic screwdriver. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, from well, at the end of the last episode, I'd basically been building a few room schemas. And you can, of course, by the naming convention, you can change the, new, the to give a new category. And now what the one I created was farms. What I want is the tall one version 2 so basically I played around with it and I wasn't too happy with my first design so I then created a second design which looks a bit similar to this but higher and here I've got a little corridor with a link so now I need to go to the right mode which I know is yellow for re for schematic and right click here and you'll see we get a huge room now or fairly tall room with split into little blocks so the idea here is that we can actually go down these and this is just a stone bit and then we can put our whatever machines we want to underneath here this is now three high which should be high enough for all of the farm or progressive automation stuff in fact that might have been a good idea to bring a pair of ladders with me wouldn't it right here we go like this so what you can do with these, of course, is you don't, you don't, you're not stuck with stone. You can change these to whatever you want. Let's just knock these out and actually put in some TARDIS blocks. I think I've got some with me, actually. Yes, I've got eight solid blocks here. We can just put those in. I'm using solid blocks as opposed to flat blocks so you actually know where they are. Unlike that. So what I want to do now is to just show you what the sort of design I wanted to do for this so in the roughly about the middle which should be around about here I think just put something down there and see if that's the middle no it isn't here's the middle so what I want to do here is to put a farm down so what I'm going to do is I'll put down this block here like that to indicate that's where I want the farm and then I'm going to make um, two holes I can think oh, I didn't really intend to do that so fiercely never mind like that and in those two holes, we're going to put some um, temple dirt because temple dirt is amazing. If you've not seen it before, do I actually do? I do have some stone for repair work, which is good. So let's just do that. And let's put into this, say here, some trees. So what the idea here is is well, I, said, well, I shall use. So I'll just use some bird saplings for this particular. Like that, and like that, and you wait a few seconds, and the two trees have grown. So the idea is here: I have a, pro a prog progressive automation chopper, diamond, that is the one I'm going to use because they are the fastest, and I'm going to use stone axes. I've also figured out what's going on with other things. Let's, hold on, let's just take. Uh, I think, suppose the best one to remove would be this one, like this, and then come down here, and you can see here. Here's the middle here. So if I click that block there that's where the farm would be and we can access that quite easily we can reach it and well touch it off if we want to do and manipulate it from there and in fact what's also a good idea is to actually start the color and you're going to use brown I'm just going to use brown on these bottom bits here and that's going to indicate the side of which one I want and this one I'm going to remove the um, this um, Randall here by simply left clicking that like that and I'll put a ladder going up here like this In the meantime, I'll just fly And like that so that's what I'm going to do in this farm and I'll do that And between episodes and next time you'll see how it all looks when it's finished And I'll also do the automation underneath or a large chunk of it What I've been doing for that is I've been using well this the, the one I did to start with didn't really work very well and that's this one here and the reason it's not working is because things are getting blocked in the in the in the TARDIS in the item ducts so what here I've got here I've got a what I've got here is what's a sort of an example of what's going on but let's create another roundel let's just change this to create a roundel like that 
and then I'll remove this out of the way because I don't want to play with this too much. And then we'll get the sonic screwdriver here, and we shall change this now to reconfigure mode. And right click that. And in this round, I can put anything I want. So we can put in, uh, in our case, I want to put a cable interface like this for for the item ducts, and just put, put right click on that and that. And then that now becomes an item duct interface. And this is an, another one here which I've already prepared. So let's go in here and get out a an axe. Another axe appears straight away, of course. With thanks to the magic of uh, refined relocation, that seems to be working just fine. But what isn't so obvious with the, these is the, how it works. So you see here at the moment, this is blue and these are green. Let's just change the color of these to something else. So I'll go in here and I will change this to say purple, which I've not used yet. And I want to automatically extract that. Before I do that, I'm going to do the same on this one here. In fact, what I actually do want to do is this one's only extracting apples and these are whitelisted. Apples and oak logs. Actually, that's on green. That's fine. So that's pulling any apples and oak logs out of the system. So this one here is going to pull anything because I've got no filters in here. So let's activate this and see what we get into this chest, if anything. We should start to get something because, oh, of course, it's not going to work until I've changed the color of this one. Let's change the color of this one to purple. We should start to get stuff. And what actually we're getting here is cobblestone. So what we're going to do now is we're going to deactivate this one again quickly like that. So we've got a stack and a half of cobblestone already come into this. What I'm going to do is put a blacklist on that now so it doesn't come into here. So we've got here we've got an, an item duck filter like that and I think I have to put it into place don't I? Like that and then we can put cobblestone in here as blacklisted and then I can activate this again. Now everything else should be coming out of here. So we're getting saplings and the axes. Okay, I also want to blacklist axes. I that's why I had took the axe out of the other one to start with as well. So now we shouldn't be getting any more uh, axes coming through in here. And we should be emptying slowly the system. Now the, the funny thing here is that the color of that is purple. And that's the only place I'm using purple. So for example here, come around here and look at this one this stuff is going in on the blue channel so the channels obviously not making any difference and you can see here quite happily that this is coming out of here now and all those apples and logs should be ending up in one of these two chests so obviously it's not related to color so that makes it a little bit less flexible or than I was hoping it to be it's actually turned off now this is actually whitelisted. See, this should work. So it's extracting and it's always active. But I'll bet you anything, they've come, come into here like that. So this farm is now chopping down these trees and processing it and sending all the items into this chest. I might need to make this chest bigger if it doesn't empty out fast enough. So what I'm confused about. You see now it's just doing it one at a time as it as it processes the jaw chops the tree down. What I'm interested in if it actually replaces this axe. Let's take this axe out and see if it actually replaces it. So now that's actually working as expected. So basically what happened is the system got blocked or the chest got blocked, which is a bit awkward for us. So I'm not going to that's why I just redesigned the form the farm. So I'm not going to use that system at all. Because those apples and logs should be coming in here, but they're not, they're coming in here. So, for the time being, I'm going to turn this off. Well, I can leave it on, I suppose, and let it run. So it's now working as expected anyway. So what I'll do with this is I'll take all of these items out of here. And what I'll do is I'll put them into a, a set of st um, storage barrels. Um, Sorting barrels from refined relocation, they're really cool. Actually, let's go back the quick way now. Oh, I haven't got a quick way this way. Now, what we're going to do next, 
So we sorted out that. We've looked at the, the new farm layout and how I'm going to set it up. In fact, in, it's exactly the same as that with that dirt. And what I'm going to put below that is some processing t to make the wood into charcoal and then send that charcoal into a syngas producing generator. And then that, from the syngas it will then go into a gas fired generator to produce the power for the TARDIS or internal for the TARDIS. And let's go and now have a look at some engine upgrades I want to do here. Because what I want to do is I want to go to the Dalek Island and I've never never been there yet and so it's the first time. But I do know that the Daleks are actually quite aggressive. <laughs> Not from just from the TV series but they're actually quite aggressive in the mod I was playing a bit. Um, with one of them I think if I'd get some sort of mechanism to uh, grind Daleks and I and it basically ended up blowing the area up that I was doing that with. And interesting, one of the TARDIS upgrades pulled me straight into the TARDIS, so I was sort of saved from any any damage, but I'm fairly indestructible anyway. So, what we're going to make is, let's have a look at this, let's make two mods, TARDIS mod. And we're going to make this one here as an explosion protection. So we need some an upgrade template, and so we need some iron and some gold nuggets and some chronosteel ingots. So let's take a I'm going to make two of these. I don't think I have any there. No, I don't. Nuggets. I think I might need more gold nuggets. Let's just make another one. And what else did we need? Iron, I think. We've got iron in here, so that's the usual. Let's just chop that down to, to nuggets and let's see if we can make two of these. So now we should what I need to do for this one is I need some redstone and some Dalinicum ingots as well. So let's get out. We'll need four of those actually. And some redstone. I think it's two, wasn't it? So let's do this one first. I've already prepared the dies for that. And the other one was that's explosion protection, and this one is combat protection. So that's also protecting the TARDIS. We don't need that one anymore. So what's that one? I think I've got everything I need for that as well. Black dye, ink sacks, redstone, and some uh, green dye. Cactus green. So let's go and put those into place. I've got two spare slots actually. I don't need this slot in here. So we'll take that out of here for a start. Uh, that was that was to change the the outside of the dial and um, the TARDIS. So let's put in here. Actually, I've already got combat protection. I'll put another one in there. I think I should have to right click it. And we're we only allowed to. Okay. Let's try this one then. Yes, that one goes in, and that one doesn't. Okay, so maybe I'm only allowed two of those. I completely forgot I made those. Hmm, never mind. Let's put that into here. Keep it out of the way. We don't need that for the time being. So, I think it's time to go and visit the Daleks. Am I prepared for everything? Let's have a quick look. There is something else I did find out. You can actually put more than one of these uh, interfaces on here. You can just simply right-click it. So that, that was that one as well. So, let's put that out of there. And those are the only two I've got at the moment. I might have one in my bag actually. I don't know whether you could put more than two in. I haven't tried that yet. The chunk loader. Let's try the chunk loader. See if that works as well. Oh yes you can. You see you can increase the number of these. Probably up to four I would guess. So you only need one place. Which is great for uh, Ender IO. That means you can have one place. And you can connect all of your things into it. Which is, which is smashing. I don't need this one either in here. I'll take this out of here. What else have I got in here that I don't really need? Probably don't need any axes. Let's put those into this chest over here. I'll have to find a way of putting those back into the into the system. I'll leave the iron here. I don't need this die. I don't need the temporal dirt. Gold nuggets. I'll keep the key and I'll have a few. The rest of it's fairly not useful. Let's just take this out of here. This is a bit of salt. 
put that into there and the TARDIS key. We don't need that. Keep the magnet with us. We'll keep this. What I probably should make at some stage or other um, is some form of chunk loader for the outside of the TARDIS so you can find the TARDIS easily when you're, when you're stopped. What I do want is this magnum torch. Right, I think that's everything we need. Let's go up. Let's go along here. And let's go flying. I've actually set it. I don't know where we're going to land, so let's have a look. So we're going to Sclaro. So that's set up there. The X and the Y I don't really know about, so we'll simply fly and see how we go. And finally, the quantum handbrake. Actually, I should make sure I've got flight stabilizers on and coordinated flight good so let's say well that was very fast so the next thing we need to do is to check the outside of the TARDIS when it lands oh try again so, the front, okay, that's fine. I should be able to come out of this door, no problem. Let's take my apple. So I wonder how long this is going to take. Ooh. Very pink. All right, Daleks, yes. So what we'll put down first of all, the Magnum Torch here. Prevent any of them spoiling too much. What have we got down here? Ah, oh, darling, you can all fantastic. What else we could do with some of that? If you want to do the other. Let's go and kill these two Daleks. Ooh. Ah, now you see what happens. The TARDIS pulled me back again. So, let's go out again, so we know it's actually not too dangerous. And it's set on fire all this area over here. So that's what happens if you get into trouble. Oh, it's on fire. What have we got here for ground? Red sand. Okay, let's go and try another Dalek and see if we can kill a few of these guys. Alright. So I reckon if you haven't got the sort of the armour that we need, this is probably quite a dangerous place we're looking here. Sclaris so I don't know whether that's any use at all, but we'll find out. But there's plenty of Dalekum all around here. Oops. Well, it's pulling me back a bit too quick. I really prefer it not to do that. Let's try again. They actually supposed to drop ingots. Oh yes, we got one Darlington ingot. Fantastic. <laughs> Great noises. There we go. Another one. Exterminate. Some more ore there. What else do we see around here? Anything interesting? Lots of ore to pick up, which is great. There's one, oh, that's my that's my box. I probably should make a marker, but we don't, in fact, have any sort of way of doing that so easily. Well, I haven't tested that. It's my bow. I should take my bow because I've got infinity on this bow as well. So let's have a go at shooting some Daleks with that. Two shots, huh? Better with the this thing. Sets me on fire, okay. Of course doesn't do too much damage. Right, so that's it. That's my first 
place I've not visited before. How many ingots do we get? Five. So that's pretty good. And we got some fish as well. A little bit of food. Oh, that's big. I don't think there's anything in here sort of like... Um, it would just be water, won't it? I've got, air, I've got water breathing as well, of course. So if we're going to do any blood magic in this uh, series, we need this stuff. So that's why I actually came here. How much have we got now? Oh, what have we got over there? Something interesting. No shortage of Daleks for certain. Let's have a look what we got in this thing over here. This looks like a doesn't it actually darling can blocks. Oh wow. So what do we have below here then? Well it looks like some oh interesting, we've got some ender stuff here. Let's break these two. We don't need those. So they spoiled us off anyway. We've got this chest. We've got a Nitro 9, a Dalek mod, and some more Dalinicum ingots, which is fantastic. Take the chest well for the mother. Endstone, I don't know whether I can use the Endstone. They pretend Daleks. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, my goodness, what have we got here? What's this for a spawn? A monster spawner. Dalek. Team Dalek base. Okay. And I got some Dalek sections too. Okay. What have we got to another Diane Dalek based one which isn't working at the moment? We have to turn it on or something. A nice lava, a lava pool. I suppose I'm not supposed to be able to come into here so easily, huh? A lot of chests in here. What we got in here? Let's sort that out and take everything we've got. I think you can make a friendly Dalek actually. It's pretty easy to bash their chest and stop messing around, huh? Some obsidian. Well, so this is supposed to be uh, steel blocks. Oh, this is actually really quite a good resource here if we need any steel or. Darling, they came blocks, so fantastic. And these things are not spawning, that's rather interesting too. What have we got here? The gear, the Dalek mod. Can we break that? No. Yellow stained clay. Sure, these guys are supposed to be spawning. Maybe you have to turn them on to spawn. What have we got here? A dropper let's have a look what's inside this nothing dispenser uh, okay there's a trip wire there with nothing attached to it just looks like it's decoration this well, that's very strange take those? No. We can take the steel behind it, but not those. And these? Monster spawners. Okay, that's not... So we're in a base. And the end stone, I just don't know where we can actually take that either. So an end portal. We can't get to the end, of course. That's another of the features of the galactic science. Well, a bit of a disappointment, that one. Never mind. There's plenty of Daleks to go and fight. In fact, I might a little bit of eating before I start doing that. Oops. <laughs> Let's get a few bit more XP while we're here.
1960s Dalek. I'm just having a read of what they say about them at the moment. There is supposed to be a Dalek boss. Oh, that might have been the Dalek boss. Okay. Right, well, I suppose what we can do here is we can save this location. So let's do that. Right, go around to the side here. It's not such a bad location. Oh, I should take the, um, the Magnum torch with me as well before I do any of that. So where are we now? We need to come over here. So what have we got here? Save slots, Venus base. This one's actually empty. We'll, we'll use the end one over here. So I'll set this to save mode. Current coordinates on this top one here. And then that should be it. Put that back in again. And then let's load up the moon base. And let's go back home. So we start off with the temporal primer, which is over this side. I've just gone past it, haven't I? Temple primer here, and then they need the helmet regulator, and finally the quantum handbrake. So look what we got for loot. Actually, I got a lot of stuff in here. So now, of course, with all of this, which it hasn't actually sorted, let's sort that. With 15 ingots and 7 blocks here, I suppose I can just simply put that back that to make up some more ingots. We can actually start. I've got another layer of XP, have I? Let's have a look. It's say level 13 now. And, of course, let's just check we're all safe. So we need to come back. Oh, we should back at base. Double check it. Yes, we are. Right, that's it. Next time, I'm going to be doing some more automation. I'm basically going to be looking at the, doing power, first of all, I think, with the tree farm, getting that built. I don't want to do the progressive automation stuff, record it, because it's fairly... Uh, just doing the same thing time and time again. And I haven't turned off this. This is the um, reg uh, elevator, or the lift, and you can see it's still coloured in, so it's not invisible. And that's because I was sort of still playing with the things. I'll leave it on for the timing. It's actually quite useful. You can see when you go outside, let's go, for example, through here. And then you see this big room up here, which we created this at the beginning of the episode. You can then see all these all these buildings have got these sort of the, the blocks to show you the, the boundaries, which is also still on. I haven't turned that off either. So that's it. Until next time, I'm going to say bye, and I hope you've enjoyed it.